Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be finally testing out the Rode VideoMic Pro, which I just got very, very recently. Um, initially I'm going to be using this on my Canon 550D, which just now is how you're hearing the audio. The Canon 550D has an internal microphone, uh, which is picking up the sound just now, but the problem is, is that it's a tiny little microphone. Meanwhile, look at this, this is much bigger than the one that's on the, the camera, so it should be a little bit better but I don't know how well it's going to work. My initial thoughts are that if I stick this straight onto my camera and it's pointing at me, it might be a little bit better as in it might pick up more directional sounds, so it'd be hearing less noise in this room, but there's not really much other noise in this room. So this is not a great test for that. And also, it's not going to be getting rid of anything like the AGC, which the Canon camera puts on. AGC stands for Automatic Gain Control, or analog gain control, no automatic gain control. So that is whenever there's a silent bit, you'll hear there's a hiss. If you put the volume up on your computer just now, there should be a hiss. Put your volume up now. Hopefully, if your speakers were loud enough, then you should have heard a kind of a noise going all the way through the thing. If I stick this on, I don't think this will get rid of it. That's where I'm going to have to use Magic Lantern. But anyway, first thing, let's stick this on, see what we think. Now, how does the sound sound now? Uh, what I've done is just plonked it on top of the camera. I've just turned it on. I haven't got, there's a thing called a low pass filter. No, I lie. That's something which you get in your camera. Hold on. It's called the high pass filter. Okay, close enough. And that should be taking out really, really deep sounds like the mm, the sounds that you sometimes get from like air conditioning or maybe if I'm driving around in my car, it should take out everything from two, no, 20 hertz to 100 hertz or at least make them less noisy. But however, this room, there is no kind of sounds going on like that. I've also made it sure that, so the power settings, it has a couple of controls or as it calls, level controls. Um, and I've just got it in the middle because the camera automatically adds on the auto gain control so we don't really need to worry about that too much but however what I do suspect is that just now you're probably still hearing the hiss sound at any time there's a silence so put your volume up now if you're probably hearing the hiss there now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put the Magic Lantern memory card that I've got, stick it into the camera. Magic Lantern is just a software which you can get which goes onto your memory card, not onto the camera, but it gives you so much stuff to do. And uh, it also gives you uh, control over all the audio levels and also you can have like an audio dis thing that shows you the sound waves kind of stuff. It's all super duper. Um, so when doing that, I'm also going to be changing the level control on the mic so it's at plus 20. So that way I can take off any digital gain that they're adding to the sound from the camera. So let's go with that. Now, fingers crossed, this should be the best sound possible, I think. What I've done is I've put loaded Magic Lantern onto my memory card, which I've done a video for in the past, which I'll put a link down below for and I've taken the AGC off, the automatic gain control. So that should mean that whenever there's any silence, that there's no more hiss. Okay, so if you put your volume up and volume back down there, you should have heard that there's just no more going on in the background. I've got it so that the analog, analog gain at the moment, because you've got you've got analog, then you've got digital, you've got left and right. There's lots of different options, but you really need to really start learning about uh, levels with audio for your Canon camera when you're start using magical lantern. It's a nightmare. Uh, but I've taken the analog gain up to just only plus 17, and I've also put the uh, the Rogue Video Mic Pro onto a plus 20 decibels. So that way I've had all the digital gain down to a minimum and the analog gain is only up to a plus 17. And hopefully that should be about the right level of gain for the microphone for this kind of distance. So this is like arm and a bit distance. What's that, about four foot kind of away from me. Um, so 17, that should be absolutely fine. So that, this, that was my first test. Uh, indoors, no wind, no extraneous sounds or anything like that. Just kind of uh, the microphone pointing straight towards me uh, in a nice quiet room, but it is quite an echoey room. So that's one thing to take into account. Next test coming up soon. Outside probably.